Hello everybody and welcome to the show. We are going to do a fajita feast. That's right, a fajita feast. It's almost three pounds of chicken, a pound and a half of steak, ribeyes, and the seasoning is this fajita seasoning from Badia, which I just picked up. And it is awesome, let me tell you. It is so good and I will tell you all about that in just a little bit. All right, and we also have some bell peppers. We've got green and red and orange and yellow sliced up. And just some beautiful colors to have our fiesta fajitas. And some yellow onions. We have two medium yellow onions sliced up there as well, just to give it that additional flavor. And then of course we need some spice. We have some jalapenos, just some whole jalapenos. And some flour tortillas, small. Fajita size. I'm gonna toast these up at the end, and then of course we need some fresh limes to give some uh, some lime juice on some of those some of those fajitas. So our 1901, um, we're gonna cook on the left side. So the two left burners we have on a good medium high heat. We're gonna put down some uh, canola oil there, and the right burner we're gonna leave off. We're just gonna use that as our warming station. So we spread out the oil here and we're going to cook up our jalapenos first. So here we go. We have five jalapenos and the goal here is we're just going to blister the outside which is going to sweeten these things up. Um, now if you don't like spice <laughs> then I would recommend uh, taking out the seeds before you eat them but if you do they're not that bad. So uh, but that's kind of what you want to see right there that blistering which is really nice and then once we get them all blistered like that we're going to just move them off to the cool zone so even though the cool zone is off the burners that 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 metal is a uh, good heat conductor and so it's still warm over there it's just but it's going to it's going to stay warm and not too hot so we add a little more oil here and we put down our onions and go here kind of the same thing just char the outside so again, medium high heat, char the outside. You wanna split them up, get them all broken up from after slicing them so all the onions are touching the griddle surface. So you wanna kinda of just move them around and move them up to the front to make room for our peppers. There's our peppers and same thing. We're just gonna kinda of spread them out, get them all touching the uh, the griddle surface here and then the goal again just to kind of get them blackened on the outside but not too soggy um, you kind of want to have it nice a medium not soggy not crispy kind of in the middle so here we're gonna add some salt and pepper and I really should have added some of this fajita seasoning to the veggies I did not because I wasn't sure how strong they were um, turns out it was not that strong. I could have used more, uh, but the flavor is so good. So add some lime juice to the veggies as well. And just let them sit. Just let them sit for a minute or two. And again, pretty high heat. So you're going to see that. You're going to hear that sizzle. You're going to see that sizzle. And we just want to get that char, even though it's not charcoal we still want to get that black char looking uh, on the outside of the veg as you can see it's starting to come through and so you want to cook these pretty quick like literally four or five minutes I would say and again you don't want them soggy you just kind of want them like kind of like a medium so mix them all together the onions and the peppers take about the same amount of time to cook and again, just kind of spread them out, get everything touching. And then I just go from the bottom to the top, kind of flipping them like, uh, you know, getting the, the blackened that's on the bottom to the top and so on and so forth, so they cook evenly. And the colors are outstanding. I love those colors. So just keep flipping a little bit and they're looking pretty good, and I'd say these things are about done here. 
about another minute or two and then yeah they're looking good so I'd say one more flip here look at the colors you can see that you can definitely see the char coming through on the bottom And again, once you move them over to the right, they're still gonna continue to cook a little bit, so that's why you don't wanna get them too cooked at this point. But I'd say these are about perfect. So, give you a little close up, what they're looking like. And right there, focus baby, yes. <laughs> there you go, a little bit of brown. A little bit of black, looking good. That's exactly what you want. So we're gonna slide these over and get them out of the way so we can cook our protein. So again, that's uh, four bell peppers on the right there, all sliced up. And next up, we're gonna cook our steak. So again, some more oil. I know it looks like a lot of oil, but it's really not. I mean, I would say that's probably like a tablespoon or two, which is not much if you think about it. And again, it's not deep fried. We're just, just lubricating the grill really. So, so what I did with these, uh, these are ribeyes. What I did with the ribeyes, I sliced them up thin. I put down some olive oil on them. I coated them with the fajita seasoning, mixed them up coated them some more, mixed them up, coated them some more. So I used quite a bit of this fajita seasoning and the flavor is outstanding, let me tell you. So um, if you have never tried the Badia brand, first of all, they're very good, but this particular seasoning is outstanding on the steaks and chicken. So with the steaks, again, quick, minute or two on each side high heat at this point and you can see the, the dark colors the searing on the outside that's going to give it the flavor and again it's going to continue to cook on the right so really there's not too much uh not too much time here it's just a matter of uh just getting it nice and brown on the outside they will cook very quick they're sliced up there's no bone in or anything like that so i'd say total time is probably three or four minutes there's a quick close-up you can see how beautiful that crispy piece of steak is. At this point, you just want to turn any, any kind of rare piece, flip it over. I like mine rare, but some people don't. So with fajitas, you kind of want like a medium rare, basically medium, if anything. And they were so juicy. Oh, ridiculous. They really retain their juices nicely. And um, that's it. It's because I didn't overcook them. So quick cook. And their own sauces there and that's it move them over so that's about a pound and a half of ribeyes I did cut out the uh, excess fat like the hard pieces of fat or anything crazy but I did leave the the soft fat in there for the flavor because it's you know fattest flavor so this is about three pounds of chicken thighs I like the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Uh, they just seem to uh, keep the moisture for me. And I sliced them up real thin, same thing. Took out the fat. Uh, took, I didn't go crazy, like, but I did take out a lot of excess fat or anything that didn't look you know, appetizing, <laughs> let's just say. And same thing, olive oil, fajita seasoning, more olive oil, not more olive oil, more fajita seasoning, mixed it up and continued with that. So we're gonna put some, um, some lime juice on these. I'm not crazy about lime juice on my steak. That's just me. But I love lime juice on my chicken. So, um, Similar thing here. Let them sear up. The chicken takes a little bit longer than the steak. Um, I would say probably about five or six minutes with the chicken. Same high heat though because you want that crispy outside. And I cut them so thin, I didn't really check any, I didn't check the temperature uh, on these, but you just want to cook them till the majority of that pink is gone. And then, again, we're going to keep these on the griddle for 
for a while while we do while we serve and and cook up the uh, the tortillas. So I noticed the the front is not as hot as the back. So I took some of those pieces up front and kind of put them in the back. And then you just kind of want to flip these around, make sure you're getting full coverage on that griddle. You see the pink parts, just try to turn those over as you can. And it's fun to play with a bit, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, this is kind of the fun part. So imagine you're out there in your back patio, you got a group of people over having fun, having a little party, and this is what you're cooking. They're, everybody's gonna be looking at this thinking, my, thinking, wow, this smells delicious. It looks delicious. Um, I cannot wait to, to wrap one of these suckers up in a fajita and, uh, and put all kinds of crazy toppings on it. So. so chicken is almost done. We're getting there, just a few more minutes. And you can see the griddle is tilting towards the back. That's because my back patio pitches towards the back. I don't know how to adjust this thing. I haven't even tried. So, um, not quite there yet, but <laughs> if I figure it out, I'll let you know. All right, so chicken is ready. We're going to move, the, we're going to keep those juices. We're going to move everything over to the soft, uh, to the warming side or the cool side of the Blackstone. Move those, uh, Jalapenos out of the way and you can see it's nice and neat. Everything's out of the way. Everything's organized. I Did clean this part of the grill real quick Just got a lot of that excess uh, stuff off of there because you want your tortillas nice and clean and I turned it down. I turned it down to about a medium medium low actually and uh, We just want to like crisp these up give them a little bit of a char on each side maybe like a minute or so on each side Give them a flip. You don't want to burn them, but you definitely want to heat them up a little bit. And that's it. Time to serve. You got friends and family. Let's start serving. You can serve this right from the griddle. That's the cool part. You put in the basics, your proteins, your veggies, and then you serve them. And then off to the side, you have a platter of sour cream, guacamole, cheddar, cheese, shredded, uh, pico de gallo, whatever you want. Definitely some hot sauce in there and everybody can make it their own and it's a party and man this is this is definitely a a feast. This is definitely a fajita feast. I made 12 right here. I'm sorry, I made 6 here. Then I made another 6 and I probably had enough to make at least 6 more, so Look at that, final shot. I mean, look how much food is left. That's after six, so I, I made another six after this, and man, we could have made so much more. But it looks beautiful, and oh, it tasted amazing. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out. Hey guys, before you head out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out our new merchandise as well as our new ebook, Griddling Favorites. Everybody, stay safe and have a great day.